the negative charge is spread over this entire ion so I have to make these dashed lines because these two the, the double bond and the single bond they keep resonating between each other between the two oxygens so this will be the most stable ion because the double and single bonds keep resonating so this is the most stable ion it is more stable than the phenoxide ion which is this ion and it is also more stable than the ethoxide ion which will be let me just make the ethoxide ion very quickly in, in uh, I am just making it above the ethanol molecule uh, CH3 CH2 and O negative so this is the ethoxide ion so it's more stable than the ethoxide ion so uh, the benz benzoic acid is the most acidic because it has the carboxylic acid group which is the most acidic group and it's most acidic because of the resonance structure because of this resonance because of the e uh, even spread of charge all over the ion on, all over the ion so this is more stable and, the, and hence it is least likely the, benz the benzoate ion which is the entire this entire ion is least likely to bond with an H plus ion and as it is least likely to bond with an H plus ion as it's more stable uh, it will be the most acidic and it will have the lowest pH but it will be most acidic as you can see benzoic acid is the most acidic and then we have phenol because as I said the lone pair on the uh, phenoxide on the oxygen atoms delocalized over the benzene ring and uh, delocalizing to the benzene ring and they overlap with the pi electron cloud and this spread over the entire ion so this ion becomes more stable and the lone pair as it has delocalized into the benzene ring it is less available to accept H plus ions and as it is less available to accept H plus ions it will be acidic it will be less acidic than benzoic acid but it will be it will still be acidic and then we have the ethoxide ion so the ethoxide ion will be least acidic because as you can see it has methyl groups attached to it methyl groups are electron donating groups so as they will donate electrons towards the ox towards this ion towards the O negative ion as they donate electrons towards the O negative ion the negative charge density on the O negative ion increases and hence it is more likely to accept H plus ions because it has a greater negative charge density so it has it is less stable it is more likely to accept H plus ions and hence it is the, uh, and hence uh, not this sorry I'm circling the wrong structure and hence ethanoic acid is the least acidic so these are the explanations the comparison between benzoic acid phenol and ethanoic acid now you can also do this uh, you can do uh, in your papers you can answer this question because you know the explanation and now I'll go to the next slide so I have written everything over here so uh, let's uh, remember all the key points the greater the number of electrons uh, so let me take out my pointer first yeah the greater the number of electron donating groups in a carboxylic acid the lower the acidity as we saw this is because the positive inductive effect caused uh, caused by the electron donating groups I'm sorry there has there should be a D over here uh, caused by the electron donating groups the, this is because the positive inductive effect caused by the electron donating groups increases the negative charge density on the carboxylate ion making it less stable and hence more likely to bond with H plus ions that's exactly what we did then the second explanation the greater the number of electron withdrawing groups in a carboxylic acid the higher the acidity this is because the negative inductive effect caused by the electron withdrawing groups lowers the negative charge density on the carboxylate ion making it more stable and hence less likely to bond with H plus ions the longer the distance between the electron withdrawing groups and the carboxylic acid group the lower the acidity this is because the longer the distance the weaker the negative inductive effect and hence the lower the reduction in the negative charge density on the H plus okay there is another mistake on the carboxylate ion not, not this it should be on the carboxylate ion which is the CO2 negative ion so we have done all these three we have seen all these three explanations in action in the previous slide 
uh, you have to note all of this down because you have to remember this exactly as it is. So uh, now let's go to.